Pennsylvania this time for Monster Mania's our second match of the card. Is the Royal Rumble match. Technically not. Now the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. Well, that the part's superstar true. in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. At random melee palooza, actually, technically speaking. Oh boy, Walker Campbell. The camp rocker himself drawing number one. This is to crown the number one contender for Easton's Universal defense. Championship. First, from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 251 pounds, the X Factor, Walker, the voice. So Walker Campbell, drawing number one here. He's going to last nine other superstars and eliminate them as they come, hopefully, in order to get a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with the champion. We don't really know exactly who's going to draw here, who the top ten, who the two ten people are. I did hear rumors and speculation. Macaulay Culkin was supposed to take place here, and no one's seen Culkin tonight. So I don't know what that's all about. Coley Culkin, of course, was part of the Hollywood Fitness, which, as we know, thanks to yours truly and his in the F4L Jazz Fitness, we don't have to worry about taking part. Oh boy, look out! Introducing Here. the individual who drew number two from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 217 pounds. So KD is smooth looking to become the number one contender. Him and his leader of the smooth operators in 2023. We'll have to see how that's going to work out. Interesting to see what would happen when, when and if these teams match. Because we know 2023 will see the debut of war games for our upcoming events. We can't wait as that's a great addition. And here we go, it's on. And you guys heard the rules. So every so often, someone will be joining these two until one person is left standing. The last person standing will become the number one contender. As KD Smooth, backbreaker. So KD Smooth has the height advantage here over Walker Campbell, but Walker Campbell, of course, we know how tough this young man is from Memphis, Tennessee, and talented in general. Very adaptable in the ring. And oh, I don't know what kind of a high cross body that was, but perhaps the gymnast, the gentleman Riley Simmons can show him as he did his right hand to KD Smooth backbreaker. As Walker Campbell lighting up, catches Riley Simmons. Oh, famous sir. And KD Smooth taking some time to pose, and there he goes. Riley Simmons would love to get back in the title picture. One, hat, one of the most resilient young men as he throws Walker Campbell out of the ring. Not elimination. Not yet, anyway. We all know and heard and we saw that J Jojo Sebastian, the X Factor, the Hurricane Jojo Sebastian, has returned. Formerly a model, now strictly a Hurricane for the F4L. And Jojo Sebastian back in action as fans requested back suplex to Riley Simmons former one a former Telenet champion would love to become the Universal Champion taking down Walker Campbell and speaking of amazing athletes we're about to have number 13 himself no number he is a great he drew number 5 but we all know number 13 Yusini Verkovitz the Russian football and soccer star, MMA, hockey, the man that he can do it. 
as Walker Campbell locking it up and Jojo Sebastian on one corner. Isini Verkovitz and Riley Simmons taking it to each other on the other side. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Simmons. And there goes Jojo Sebastian. Easton, si I'm sorry, um, Iseni just sidestepped Riley Simmons, the gymnast, in elimination. As here comes the Boston bad boy himself, the bad boy of comedy, Dane Cook. He's in there. Two very tough individuals in the ring with him. Nice. That's a beautiful dragon suplex there, but to Walker Campbell. And he goes off the ropes. Watch out. Ooh, and he catches Sidney Berkowitz. And now, oh, Grayson Russell, the super duck. We know that he is a former BA MMA Grand Prix champion. Maybe he's trying to become a universal champion. That would be a great opportunity for the young man. Imagine if you would, we already saw that. Remember that classic he had with the Nightmare Tyndall, Joe, Noah Tyndall? Imagine a classic wrestling match between Grayson Russell and Easton McDonald, two of the toughest young record Roman wrestlers alive in the United States. Of course, can't take it away from the high flyer and the, one of the most gifted swimmers in the world who has a passion for rock music. It's Ivan the Dolphin Shark. And well, remember, Ivan is a former champion. Oh, my. Super Duck eliminates Dane Cook. That, jute, that martial arts skill really sh helped him pave off. Grayson Russell, former champion for the BA MMA Grand Prix Championship. Pour down the house in the last encounter with the, the champion. Oh, number nine. Of course, the leader of the awesome ones. And the fans letting him know they're not appreciating that. Nice double drop kick by Verkowitz and Super Duck. And that that compilation ended real quick. Is Sean Awesome taking down Verkowitz. And Ivan sending the Super Duck into the corner. Ivan, of course, the Russian swimmer. And a lot of people wanted to see Ivan take on our, one of our newest superstars. Oh, are you kidding me? So that's why no one's seen Macaulay Culkin, because his former leader has weaseled his way into this. I hope someone eliminates him. What a cheap, cheap cheating son of a guy. Jazz Fitness has weaseled his way into this match. Not official. Not a current roster member. Not supposed to be here. As Bergman sends the two Russians giving each other a hard time. There goes the super, there goes the Dolphin Shark, courtesy of the football star. Football, of course, by soccer for the American audience. And of course, Sean Awesome and Jazz Fitness. Going at it one on one. There's a spine buster and a half. Super not getting nailed. Of all of the cheap things, he can't let it go that he's been eliminated. He's not going to be here. Has weaseled his way in here. Super Duck hopefully going to eliminate Jazz Fitness. Thank you for coming. Of all of the cheap things, Jazz Fitness trying to weasel his way into this match, into the roster in 2023. Get the stepping guy. Back to the fitness center you go to do your jazzy jacks and whatnot. Nice forearm shot there by Sean Austin and Super Duck. Walker Campbell and Verkovitz in the corner. Oh, Walker over the top rope. Still hanging on though. Ooh, what a drop kick. And Sean Austin sending. Ooh, Super Duck eliminated. And of course, the veteran Sean Awesome who's been around the block a lot longer than all three of these yet young men. Tossed around by Walker Campbell. Welcome to the show. Knife edge chop for Berkowitz, who was in the corner. And Sean Awesome picking his spots. That's exactly what he's doing. I don't know if I would go to the second rope in a melee. Actually, I know I wouldn't. Walker a little dazed. I thought Sean Austin was going to maybe take a cheap shot. Not so much. And Verkowitz, nice reversal there by 
Walker Campbell had Berkowitz up, and not so much. And Sean Awesome. Uh oh. Thought maybe Berkowitz was going to try to take advantage of Sean Awesome's uh, non intelligent move by going to the second rope. And trying to get rid of Berkowitz, which is not going to happen. Of course, there's Walker Campbell from behind. And beautiful Rose Suplex. Walker Campbell came part of the roster back in September of 2023. Berkowitz has been here a while. And of course, Sean Awesome is an original. As Walker Campbell trying to dislocate the shoulder of the leader of the Awesome Ones. All number one tie up, Walker Campbell, as Berkowitz is part of the F4L scheme of things. As Berkowitz fire himself up and Walker Campbell trying to get rid of Berkowitz. But Sean Awesome, ooh, double teaming maneuver. And the football star. Stuck between two of the toughest individuals. Uh-oh. There goes Berkowitz. No, he's still on. Berkowitz hung on. What a surprise there. Oh, double leg takedown. Walker Campbell firing himself up. Some strikes. We mentioned the MMA background of Cindy Berkowitz. He is a superior athlete, folks. He does have skills in, across multiple sports, football, soccer, sw MMA, swimming, you name it, he can do it. I don't think there's a sport the young man hasn't done that he hasn't excelled in. Nice right hand there by Verkovitz. Imagine Verkovitz versus Asina Verkovitz. Imagine Asina Verkovitz, number 13 to take on e Easton McDonald. Ouch. Berkowitz missed the Pele kick and Sean Awesome made sure he knows that was a mistake. Uh-oh. Well, there's a double side Russian leg sweep. Ooh, he missed the kick. Berkowitz missed the spinning Pele kick as Walker Campbell now with Sean Awesome up on his shoulders. Top rope instead of over the top rope. That might be a mistake by Walker Campbell. Campbell hasn't been in a lot of these melees, but he is very capable in the ring. Ooh, he caught him that time. Rick was caught Walker, but unfortunately he's supposed to throw you a over the top rope. And if that was a pinning opportunity, it would have been done. Dragon snap suplex. Campbell's out on his feet. Shaking the cobwebs off. Campbell's going to pick a spot. Uh-oh, shot awesome. Gone. And it's come down to Verkovitz and Walker Campbell. What a performance by Verkovitz in general. Catches it with a springboard drop kick. One of the move up. When it comes to soccer, you get used to using your feet versus every other part. So his, as I've mentioned before, when it comes to doing those kinds of things, you become your kicks become even more dangerous than anyone else. As Walker Campbell now sent over the top rope. Oh, Virtuous can't quite pull the trigger. Walker Campbell hangs on. This match continues. What a match. Berkowitz showing that he is just as tough as anybody else on the roster. And these two young men are tremendous athletes. Let's not count out the fact that not only can Walker sing and dance and do the entertainment thing, he is also an athlete. One of the best lacrosse players out there. Also has some experience in swimming and soccer and so forth. As he, he has a cross face on Berkowitz, but unfortunately, again, this is not a submission match. This is a Battle Royal, a melee as we call them. Walker Campbell drops an elbow into the heart of Verkovitz. What a match this has been already. Uh oh. Walker Campbell trying to eliminate Verkovitz. Verkovitz hanging on. He knows not to go near those ropes. Beautiful double uh, underarm, double underarm suplex there by Verkovitz. Berkowitz hailing from Moscow, Russia, and Walker Campbell hailing from Memphis, Tennessee, U.S. As Berkowitz trying to eliminate Walker Campbell to become the number one contender, but can he? You know, Walker Campbell hangs on. And this is what it comes down to right here. These two young men who have already shown how much the tie, being the number one contender will mean. Ooh, and Berkowitz catches him. 
with that pale, spinning Pele kick. And Walker is sent to the corner. And Berkowitz is going to try to eliminate him. He's got him up there. Can he eliminate Walker Campbell, who is dazed? And how about that, folks? If Sammy Berkowitz, number 13, became the number one contender for the Dream Masters Universal Championship, and we all know when we resume, we know who the number one contender will be. So, Sean Jazz Stevens not happy about Jazz Fitnesses trying to weasel his way back in here. So this fight is broken out. As, Berk as Sean Jazz Stevens and the, the leader of the F4L and the former leader of Hollywood Fitness having a fight out back of all of the shadiest things. Fitness weasels his way into the melee thinking it was going to get past the person who, who has retired him. And now, Sean Jazz Stevens taking it to Jazz Fitness, the YouTube sensation that he is. Ouch. Sean Jazz Stevens lighting up Jazz Fitness. Not happy about him trying to take, pull some under, undermined and unsavory rulership. He has he's been, technically folks, he has left, lost twice his opportunity to become part of the roster. As getting struck down by the leader of the F4L. Of course, ja Sean Jazz Stevens has to be careful because we know that, uh oh, oh come on. Cobra Clut, the million dollar dream by Jazz Fitness. I don't think you want to go with the submission rise. If that black rose gets put on, he's not going to probably let go of that. These two have bad blood, which is why only one of them were able to be on the roster in 2023. And it's now Fitness taking it to Sean Jazz Stevens. Oh no! Oh, spine buster! It's a lot of weight. Now picking up a chair. Oh, working on the injured knee. Oh, misses that time. Oh, shot to the throat. Nice kick, strikes. Calling about tie up. Oh, sent into that wall there. This is brutal. Watch out. Oh, fitness from behind. Oh, my. Just. Almost a variation of a drop plex, only he just German suplex. Oh no, come on. Ugh. The pretzel by Hollywood, by Jazz Fitness on Sean Jazz Stevens. These two have been beating each other up. These two have bad blood, folks. Off the kicks them off to Sean Jazz Stevens. Kick there. And fitness goes down to a drop kick. Shot to the gut. Knife edge chops. It's like getting hit. Oh, face first into the concrete. Stevens can fight with the best of them. Uh oh, watch out. See you later. Thanks for coming. Trying to put the insult to injury now. This is how the ouch cloverleaf goes. Fitness finding out the hard way not to pick a fight with Jazz Fitness as he taps. However, this is not a match. This is an all-out fight, folks. Spinning back fist. Lit up. Down he goes. And now just hammering Jazz Fitness. Imagine trying to weasel his way into the, the 2023 roster, already blowing two chances to do so. Uh oh, face first into the concrete. Spinning back fist. Brutal. 
What a barbaric fight this is. Now what? Uh-oh. Another chair. Oh, lays out fitness. Oh, and a spear and a half. You can't, can't count Chaz's fitness out, unfortunately. He is a miserable individual. Oh, no. Butterfly. Double butterfly suplex. And fitness has to be careful. I'm sorry, Stevens has to be careful of that deep fried Oreo driver that fitness likes to use. Oh, no. Oh, he's going back to the pretzel again. Oh, brutal. And he's a lot heavier than J J Sean Jazz Stevens is. All that weight being put across the lower back. Legs being bent in ways it's not meant to be bent in. Oh, misses the, rolls out of the way. And fitness is suplex. Uh oh, wait a minute, hold on. Here comes the F4L suplex. Indeed it is. Done. He's got to be done. Beautiful athleticism by Sean Jazz Stevens. Even the nip up at the end there. As he's striking fitness for everything it's worth. Drop kick. Fitness is down. Another grab in the chair again. Oh, shot to the arm. Next time, don't try to sneak in when you're not welcome. You already lost twice. Oh, fitness blocks a headbutt. These two are absolutely destroying each other out back, as we expect it would be. And now with a chair in hand, took way too long as Stevens knew it was coming. Watch out. See you later. And next time,